In this video we'll review how to prepare a micro SD card for an app zombie. First download the app zombie image from Linux link. You will need a micro SD card with a minimum of 32 gigabytes or more to flash the app zombie image. You will require a 7Z compression tool to extract the EPF software. If it is not already installed, install it using the command on the screen. Change your current directory to where your app zombie image is downloaded. Extract the image from the downloaded file by running this command. Connect the SD card to your host system. Many modern systems have an SD card slot on the case or you can use a USB SD card reader. Determine the device name of the card. This can be done using the dmeesk command. In the following example the slash dev slash sdb which contains the partitions sdb1, sdb2. Now flash the extracted image to a 32 GB micro SD card using the dd command. Be sure to use the device name identified in step 7. Warning writing to the wrong device is harmful. Or you can also use the Vilaina Etcher application to flash an app zombie image into a micro SD card if you don't have it already you can download it from this link. Once you have it launch the Belena Etcher application from the terminal. Now select the extracted image of AppZombie it will automatically select a micro SD card. In case you have attached more than one SD card with your machine you can change the SD card and after that click on the flash button. After successfully flashing the image remove the micro SD card from the host machine and insert it into the AppZombie SD card slot of the time sys zombie.